What up, everybody? It's Robbie Royale, Spiritual Gorilla, and I'm here for day 27 of my New World Chronicles video vlog journey. <laughs> uh, and today has been a fantastic day. I uh, got more into my, I got to day five of my Ultramind classwork, and today I got to meditate. And the, the, the purpose of the meditation was to do remote viewing training. And it was freaking awesome. And so it's like this 10 minute, like get you down in the theta wave brain state. And then it's like, you try, you've had a journey to your home. So you like remote view yourself outside of your house and you're looking at your house. And then you go inside the house and they just like kind of walk you through and you like pick a wall to look at and they're like changing the color of the wall. And then you have like a chair floating in the air and then you're like cycling through an orange and now there's three bananas and now there's two apples and now there's fucking carrots. Um, but it was freaking awesome and it really gave me, uh, gave me some hope for a truly focused mind to get out of that monkey mind jumping from thought to thought to thought. Like it really centered me and I feel like it was working when I like pumping my imagination muscles, you know, just getting all pumped up and like rekindling that imagination as well. So I am really excited to see where this goes. I'm so happy that I enrolled in this class. It's given me so much grounding. It's given me so much pumping of the irons of uh, the visualization and, <clears throat> and imagination and uh, seeing things in the mind and like creating those spaces in the mind that I think is gonna be really freaking interesting and awesome for my creative practices uh, moving forward. So that was freaking awesome. I also hit uh, day five of my yoga with Adrian yoga journey. And let me tell you that I can feel my body. Like I am sore in places. I've done five days of yoga and my body's like, good, we're getting back in shape. My core is getting stronger. I'm feeling really good about that. And that's gonna be like, that's so good for my energy and I'm detoxifying. I can tell toxins are coming out and I'm making room for more amazing, <clears throat> beautiful experiences in my existence. So really happy to be continuing down that road as well. Um, did a lot of packing today. Uh, the house is clearing out. It is a lot more empty. We got rid of some bookshelves and got rid of a fuck ton of books. And there's a lot of stuff going to Goodwill, and uh, it's just like some bittersweet symphony that like I'm enjoying the process of cleaning up my energy. I, I feel like it's like me packing up my nest. This place has been my nest. It's been my womb, and like I'm both excited to leave the womb. There's pieces of me that are like, no, we, we can't leave this place. It's like real warm in here. It feels good. We should just like stay here, chill. Everything's been really good here, hasn't it? Why would you leave the womb? But uh, it's definitely time. And that's cool. So it's a bittersweet flow, ebbing and flowing. Like last night I was like really drained and today I'm like, okay, focused, feeling good, feeling optimistic, knowing that amazing things are coming into my life, knowing that this move is bringing everything <clears throat> that I've ever wanted into my life because I've been manifesting so much and I've been clearing so much and so much fear is gone, so much doubt is gone, so much shame, so much guilt, so much childhood trauma, all these things that I really dealt with. Uh, ah, so feeling feeling transmutative in that space uh it has been storming for the past few days which i think is like really in tune with our tower card situation that, that my partner and i have going here where everything is being upheaved and i want to call it catastrophic upheaval but really it's not catastrophic at all it's it's huge and it's a big deal and like yes there's a lot of turbulence there's a lot of dust and and grime and smoke everywhere but as the dust settles i know that i'm going to be that i'm standing on a strong foundation i already am standing on a strong foundation i kind of feel like i'm floating in a meditative stance with like a bubble around me and there's chaos everywhere and the rainstorm literally has been going on for hours and hours and hours and howling winds and uh, it snows sometimes, it rains sometimes, it's like this big shit storm of tower card and like just so much is being upheaved and I'm grateful for that upheaval. I am grateful uh, <clears throat> to be viewing my partner in a different light as well. We've kind of gone from lovers to like now we're siblings. It's like we feel like brother and sister and it's a completely different dynamic. We had a month to like kind of grieve and go through the processes of you know, <clears throat> feeling each other out and knowing, 
like knowing that we're leaving and going through all the stages of grief and like the bargaining and the denial and the acceptance and like all these things. And now it's just like, yo, it's happening in two days. We're leaving on Saturday and that's freaking crazy, man. That's fucking wild. And uh, I could choose to be in like a, oh man, what am I going to do? But like, I'm fucking excited to see what happens on the other side of this bridge, man. I'm happy to, I'm so excited to see what happens when the dust settles and I'm standing on this strong foundation of my new life and my new power, understanding truly who I am. And I'm like, oh shit, we about to get this. Or we've already got this. What's coming next? I'm just so grateful for the amazing experiences coming my way. I'm so grateful for the amazing transformation I've had here in Nevada City, California. Uh, with these big ass trees and these deep ass roots and just like finding balance within myself and really working with the entities here and the elementals here and my spirit guides to become the best version of myself that I can be Rocky 3.7. And angel number 37 is like some real congratulatory shit. It's like, hey, you're doing a great job. Keep moving. So I'm really excited to see what comes next. I'm moving down south. I keep seeing gooses and geeses flying around. It's like, okay, time to fly south for winter in the snowstorms and the storms. So that's all I got for you today, day 27. And I'm Rafi Royale, Spiritual Gorilla. I love you all. Like, subscribe, comment. Let's make a motherfucking conversation. Let's have a community party in the metaphysical realm. Spiritual consciousness uprising. I love you all. Uh, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Uh...